three, two, one. Welcome back to the nighttime, the sleepy time version of Bean Gaming. Yes, I'm ready for bed, but I wanted to get this video out because we are going to showcase Shiny Kairos. If we take a look at Shiny Kairos, we will see that only 198 exist. I got him last week, actually. And if we take a look at him, you'll see, I think everyone knows what he does by now. He's one of those heroes that does tick damage. That's what a lot of people are calling it, where he doesn't do all his damage in one stomp. He does it over a period of time, and he does it over a period of, a set, well, he, he cools down 10 seconds in between, but he keeps on going and going and going until the last enemy leaves. And we're going to use an all-creature team. I'm trying to get a better creature team going here. And you can see that Kairos does boost creatures by 20%. He has the tags of creature and demon. Gives a 20% boost to start. And if I do end up getting enough Kairoses, then I'm going to put them all to boost. Because that's actually going to be really good. We're going to try and get a good curse on him right now. But let's take a look at some of the other heroes I have on my team. I have Nightmare Rat God. And he does a 10% boost to holy and creatures. So that's really good. I was able to get... He's just a regular Rat God, but I put all of the upgrades to boost on him. And his range is really good with a range of 81. And he has tags of holy and creature. And then we're going to go with my favorite bunny of all time, the Bunny Basher. And his range is absolutely crazy. And he has tags of creature, military, and Easter. So he, there he is on the creature team. And I wasn't planning on using Anubis or showcasing Anubis in this video, but... He has a tag of creature, which is kind of weird and interesting. I don't mind the tag of creature because he is, if you remember, he is in the red crypt and red is undead. And they gave him the additional tag of creature. But what's interesting is that he doesn't boost undead. He actually boosts creatures by 10%. So over the course of the next few weeks, I'm going to get more Anubis urns or Anubis heroes and put them all to boost. That's what you want to do there. And then when you get a nice curse on him, then you're probably going to want to apply it to the range. That actually is going to, or like Inferno, for example. Inferno, Nightmare, those would be really good to get that range boosted on up or leveled on up as well so let me see oh i have one more slot and you know what i do have a regular kairos and so let's type that in let's type in kairos and i'm going to use one of my kairoses here we're going to equip him and like i said before once i get enough kairoses then i'm going to boost both of these to full max level on well let's let's take a look at the regular one here i'm going to put all of the all of the additional kairoses to boost the ones that I sacrificed all to boost because that's going to give you really nice boosting overall for creatures. And I was considering bringing along my shiny, crazy, nightmare, crazy Frank, but you know what? Let's see if we can win with these heroes here. That's going to be really good. And before we hop in game, let's go over here and try and get a good curse on this Kairos and see if we can get a decent curse on Anubis. And I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll leave that Kairos. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out here. I don't want to waste too much time here because it is past my bedtime. I'm ready for bed here. But I do want to try and get Nightmare on my shiny, uh, this shiny Kairos. If I can get Infernal, I mean, that's going to be fine. I don't want to use too many curses here, per se. But Nightmare would be really nice. Oblivion in a row. Three Oblivions. Wow. You have to be careful with Oblivion because it's purple, just like Nightmare. <laughs> so you really have to... Well, another Oblivion! What the What the heck is going on? Come on. Another Oblivion. <laughs> this is painful now. Okay, let's come on. Can we get Infernal or something? Let's just get Infernal, and I'll, I'll be happy with that. I don't want to use too many of these curses, though. don't want to use too many of them up. I don't have a lot left. That's the That's the problem. Come on, give me something good. There's Infernal, all right. Well, like I said, we'll eventually get Nightmare on him, but Infernal's good for now. And the other Kyra, no, you know what? Let's leave him alone. I I don't want to upgrade them yet. I want to try and get Nightmare on this one, so I don't want to accidentally roll a Nightmare on one of these other ones here. But we're going to head on over to the Crypts, and we're going to play one of the Crypts. So we're going to hop on in-game here and see what we have. Let's go! <laughs> we're going to do King Bastet, and we're going to do Horror Mode, and I did get to level 50. Maybe we should try level 50. I don't know. We'll try it, I guess, and see what ends up happening. They're going to be coming at us so fast and so much additional damage, and of course we have to do Horror Mode. We have to, right? 
Okay, so exit on the left, exit on the right here. Enemies are going to be coming from these entrances over here. I don't think enemies come out of the entrances to begin with, and we get $5,000 to start. So we have to place our Nightmare Rat Gods, and you can see, yes, they're going to be coming out from this entrance. So I'll probably put a Rat God here to start. Let me see. Let me make sure. There we go. Yeah. So there is enemies that come out right over here to begin with, and we're probably going to have more, more more heroes than need be to start or more than my maximum of 20 here and that's fine let's get down that bunny basher come on bunny basher start taking these enemies out oh we gotta start leveling up these rat gods there we go all right we're in a much better spot remember this is level 50 so this is gonna kind of get crazy here that's why the AOE is really going to be important I want to get some of these bunny bashers down just because to play it safe there we go and look at the, look at all the area that the bunny bash basher covers I do want to get six of him down and then we're gonna place Kairos let's put Kairos probably no, right over here in the beginning is gonna be a really good spot for him Put another i want a shiny kairos down was that a shiny kairos i don't know but we're gonna put a shiny one right over there and there are six placements for uh for Ky for shiny kairos and that's really nice here we go come on level up okay the rat gods are all leveled up let's get our bunny bashers fully leveled up and i want to make sure we get the star of the show in here eventually three four five and six and let's level up our bunny bashers so that way they can help there we go okay let's level up our kairos now look at and I, I really do like the animation on him okay can we fully level him up how far are we oh he's in a much better spot now look at he's like doing the happy dance with the fire that is pretty sweet his range isn't crazy i mean it's only 26 but look at the amount of damage that he's doing He's doing 190,000. So that's going to be really good. We'll get three on each side here. Let's level up all these Kairoses. I mean, the, the leveling up is really going to help out here. And hopefully, we're not going to be able to get any of these enemies passed. Now, we have 17 enemies. Let's get an Anubis down. I know it's not an Anubis showcase, but he's pretty cool. I have seen him in action. He just kind of stares and watches everyone go by. See, look at him just stare. Oh, no, now he's actually attacking. There we go. There we go, Anubis. You're maxed out. That's cool. We'll get in another Anubis right over here. And I do want to put down an, another regular Kairos. That way we get that 20% boost. Here we go. I like that. We are in a much better spot now. We have... Well, maybe we should put down some more Kairos. I don't know, because we have these enemies in the back here. But take a look at the Bunny Basher. He's doing 54,000 every 4 seconds. I really like that. We have our Rat Gods protecting in the back here at 6,000 damage multiplied by 5. So we're almost at 35,000 right there with a range of 81. So we have some good protection in the back. And then in the front on over here, let's take a look at what Shiny Kairos is doing right now. He's doing 251,000 and that's going to be tick damage. See, look at that. He's not taking it out all right away, but it is going to happen over time. And as long as we get some more of these, come on, Kairos, are you going to activate or what? See, he is, he is activated. You can see that the enemy's health is being taken off here. But when we get that blue flame, that's when it looks really cool. I wish the animation lasted the entire time. See, there he goes. He just activated, and then he turned off. Let's see. Are we going to pay attention over here now to these? So see, look, yes, their health is coming off. Now it's not. Okay, now it is. Let's get, can we get all three, four Kairoses going at the same time, or is Bunny Basher going to have to make the save? And this isn't bad. This is wave 50, and my creature team, I don't think it's all that good, actually. I am going to be worried when we get to the later waves, because, I mean, is this team going to be able to hold? I don't think Anubis is going to be able to hold. Let's get rid of this Anubis, and let's put down another Kairos, regular Kairos, on this side. More Kairos, the better, I think, because they're going to be more damage overall than Anubis is. Let's check just to make sure. Let's see. This Anubis is doing 55,000 every 5 seconds. That was 55, correct? 55,000. This Kairos is doing 134 over 10 seconds, but the cooldown is 10 seconds. So I think the Kairoses are actually doing more damage, definitely, than the Anubis. Plus, the Anubis isn't even cursed yet. And neither is my regular Kairos. There we go, that looks better. So these warrior mummies, 
their health is being taken out quite a bit. And Kairos is going to keep being activated all the way through. Yeah, I think this is going to be rough. This might be a rough one. We might not be able to survive. I probably should have brought along Nightmare Crazy Frank. But no worries. No worries at all. It doesn't matter. We're showcasing Kairos. And I said last time that my creature team wasn't all that good. And the Bunny Basher is really good, actually. But I just don't know if I have enough boost to carry it on through. And I don't think Rat God is good enough to even work at all. but Or to, to kind of carry on his own here. And yeah, you can see Bunny Basher is trying his best, but we are just we just don't have it, folks. We just don't have it, and that is the game. There we go. Game over. We made it to wave 13, which isn't bad, but I have a much better team than this. So what do you think of Shiny Kairos? Let's go back to the lobby. Here we go, back in the King's Tombs, and we just ended up losing with this creature team here. Now, if I were to play this again, you know, I probably would swap out this Kairos with Nightmare Crazy Frank. I think Shiny Crazy Frank. I think that would have really been helpful. Probably take out this Anubis. I probably would have done my team a little bit differently. But this is my all-creature team right now, and it definitely needs an improvement. But the star of the show today, which didn't really shine per se, I guess... I wouldn't use Kairos as my main weapon though, that's the thing. I would use him kind of as a helper or as a booster. So once I get enough Kairoses, then I'm going to put them all to boost here and get a really nice boost and throw that crazy Frank in there and that's going to boost him like crazy. That's going to be really good. And then of course we always have Demon Mage to use and that would have been a nicer boost as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video even though we didn't win today and that's fine. And we're going to get ready for the weekend. We're going to keep grinding away. And i probably going to do a live stream tomorrow with World Defenders. World Defenders is coming out with I think a pretty big update tomorrow. They're getting their dragons ready to go. So I'm hoping that that's going to be pretty good and get some more people playing again because I've been grinding the house so much. I mean... It, quite a bit here. I haven't even played World Defenders probably in a couple weeks. I checked out their Easter event, but it didn't do much for me, and plus there was bugs all over the place, and I didn't... it just turned me off. So, I'm hoping that this new event coming out tomorrow with the Dragons it's going to be fun. But anyways, I need to get out of here and go to bed. So if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. I appreciate your support. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!